We're going to jump into today's Chiefs report here in just a second. But first, if you want more Kansas City Chiefs videos on the latest news, rumors, mailbags, and more, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button here on the Chiefs report. It's youtube.com slash Chiefs TV, and we will continue to keep you guys in the loop with the latest Chiefs news and rumors. Go ahead and subscribe. You're watching the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I am Harrison Graham. And on today's show, going to take an updated look at some free agents that the Chiefs could still go out and sign before week one. Obviously, roster cuts just went down. There's been a lot of action on the waiver wire. Still some big free agents that remain available with less than two weeks to go until the season opener. So here are five players to keep in mind as we get closer and closer to week one. All right, uh, we'll start with a receiver here. How about Preston Williams, uh, who got recently cut by the Miami Dolphins? Certainly has some talent. He's a big body weapon uh, that had success early on in his career. He was cut by Miami uh, earlier this week on Tuesday as they finalized their 53-man roster. He remains unsigned at this point in time. And Kansas City opted to only keep five receivers. And if you look at this group, Sure, Valdez Scantling has some size, Juju has some, but you don't have a ton of big body weapons uh, on the outside. Now, I will say this. Number one, Preston Williams has declined uh, the last couple of years in production. And two, the Chiefs seem content and comfortable with five wide receivers. That's why they didn't carry Darius Fountain on the 53 and decided to put him on the practice squad. But I've been intrigued by Preston Williams for a couple of years. Now he's available. Got to think he's going to land somewhere, at least on a practice squad at some point in the near future, kind of like Josh Gordon landed with the Titans practice squad. All right, let's talk about another receiver, a big one, obviously, Odell Beckham Jr., who remains unsigned. Now, the reports for a while have been that OBJ will sign with a contender once he's fully healthy. We don't know exactly when that'll be, October, November. We'll have to wait and see. Now, let me be clear. I would absolutely take OBJ as like a midseason go chase a Super Bowl signing, right? Like Odell Beckham Jr. is a player that could put you over the top. Don't believe me? Ask the Rams. I know he got hurt early in the Super Bowl, but he played a huge role in their playoff run. He was magnificent against the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC Championship go game. OBJ, when healthy, is still a very, very good player. He could come in here and arguably be your top wide receiver if he's healthy. Obviously, you got Travis Kelsey, but without Tyreek Hill in the mix, uh, on paper, he probably would be your best receiver. I think he's going to sign with the contender midway through the year, and if the Chiefs are in a position where they feel like they're one piece away, maybe Odell Beckham Jr. is that piece to go get a second Lombardi trophy. Should the Chiefs go out and sign Odell Beckham Jr. once he's healthy? We'll make this the pinned comment on today's show. Type S for sign, type P for pass. Definitely open to it. Curious to see what the kingdom see thinks on today's show. Next up is Indomitian Sue, who, I'll be honest, I'm surprised remains available in NFL free agency. I'm surprised he's still out there and not on a roster. There's been several teams linked to him for months now. I know the Raiders uh, certainly have had some interest. The Minnesota Vikings had some interest at some point. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of Chiefs buzz, but this is a guy that's still productive. The last couple of years, he has six sacks in each of the past two years with Tampa Bay. He was better overall in 2020, better overall production, but still a capable interior pass rusher uh, that can get after the quarterback and mix things up uh, and kind of give you some of that nastiness on that defensive line. I mean, can you imagine a front four of Frank Clark and Dominican Sue, Chris Jones, George Karloftis with guys like Derek Nottie, uh, Carlos Dunlap, Tershawn Wharton uh, rotating in? That would be pretty fun as this defensive line has already improved and this defensive tackle position has gotten deeper. You got Taylor Stallworth uh, and Danny Shelton on the practice squad. Those are two NFL caliber defensive tackles that didn't even make the initial 53 so you're already deep there but I still think Sue can pack a punch a little bit here and give you a little bit of boost on a front four here's to see where he signs and maybe just maybe that team is the Chiefs get going with BetUS our sportsbook partner for the 2022 season they've been with us for the past couple of years and they're back for another season you guys can make some money all season long with BetUS go to chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet use our promo code Chiefs125 put down 100 bucks you get 125 for free you can go out and make some money uh, especially if you're a, begin a, a beginner that promo code really helps you out 
Go bet on the Chiefs. Only three and a half point favorites at Arizona to start the year. No DeAndre Hopkins for the Cardinals. I know it's on the road, and I know that Arizona was a playoff team last year, but they did not finish well. No Hopkins to start the year as he is suspended. I like the Chiefs to go in there and win that game by at least four points, if not by more. Uh, I'm betting the Chiefs, uh, and I actually like the under here. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Promo code is Chiefs125. Eric Ebron, the veteran tight end who still remains out there. Tight end isn't necessarily a position I'm concerned about with Kansas City, but he's still intriguing to me. Now, last year, just things did not work out. Only had 84 yards and a touchdown. But you look at those prior three years, 2020, 56 grabs, 558 uh, receiving yards, and then five scores. 2019, a bit of a downtick, but still fairly productive. And then obviously in 2018, he had a special year with 750 yards and 13 scores. I don't think you're going to get that. But the point being is before this past year, before 2021, Eric Ebron was productive. I mean, he was a guy that he was starting caliber uh, at the tight end position. Now, sure, um, you have three quality tight ends that are healthy and Travis Kelsey, Noah Gray, and Jody Fortson. But with Blake Bell injured, I think uh, you could consider going out and getting Eric Ebron and seeing what he could bring to the table for your offense. So we'll have to wait and see if that would be under consideration or if the Chiefs are comfortable with the three guys that they have. We'll talk about Chris Harris, lastly, veteran corner, who is certainly not what he used to be. But what I like about him is, A, he's got nickel and outside corner versatility. Uh, and, you know, you've got a young group, right? You've got three rookies and two third-year guys. Rashad Fenton, Legarius Sneed as those third-year players. Trent McDuffie, Joshua Williams, who... Let's be honest, didn't look great in the final preseason game. Jalen Watson, who are young. Chris Lammon's mostly a special teamer. I know you have six, but he's not going to give you much in the secondary. And what Chris Harris offers is all 11 years of his career in the AFC West. He knows this division well. He's played for Denver for nine years, last couple of years with the Chargers. So if you want a guy that knows the landscape and knows how to defend against some of these players, uh, you could do a lot worse than a guy like Chris Harris. So there you go. Five notable free agents that uh, I could see the Chiefs showing some interest in. OBJ, the midseason guy to keep an eye on. Obviously, a lot of contenders, including the Rams, uh, certainly would like to bring him in. All right. Name a player that you think the Chiefs should go sign before week one of the season. Um, I don't think OBJ before week one makes sense, but maybe there's someone else that does. Let me know down in the comments. And then some quick news when it comes to the practice squad. Um, they've added Cole Christensen uh, to the practice squad. So here's the updated look of the P squad for the Chiefs. St. Anderson, Mike Caliendo, Jack Cochran, Jerry Ely, uh, Doris Fountain, Cornell Powell, Jordan Franks, Nazi Johnson, Azur Kamara, Elijah Lee, Chris Lodicon, Austin Ryder. They also added Kendall Blanton, uh, Blanton, excuse me, Danny Shelton, Taylor Stallworth, and Cole Christensen uh, as newest members of the Chiefs practice squad. So all 16 slots filled for now. I'm sure there will be some more shuffling in Kansas City. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. I am Harrison Graham. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. You can also give me a follow on social media at HGramNFL, both on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, we'll see you here on the Chiefs Report.